Yo, what's up? It's that dude who hardly ever posts anymore. Today we're talking about Tommy G getting scammed by Lil Mabu. Now, if you have not heard about this situation, I suggest checking out the Buckingham Show, I believe it's called. He made a, a very good video on it. Uh, also goes in detail about who Lil Mabu is. I also have a video on Lil Mabu. I suggest checking that out. But yeah, apparently Lil Mabu pulled a uh, TJX6. What was his name again? TJX6? Let me look it up. Yeah, TJX6. He pulled a TJX6. But yeah, Lil Mabu apparently scammed Tommy G out of thousands of dollars, and I'm, we're gonna talk about it. But first, I'm gonna talk about Netspin scamming his fans too. I don't know what it is with these rappers thinking they're top of the line scammers when they're getting exposed for it left and right. But it doesn't matter because no one's doing anything about it. They're just getting away with it. Twisted Worlds made a video on it where he goes in detail, but to sum it up, Netspin scammed his fan who was going to pay him for a feature out of, I believe, like, it was, like, $600. I, correct me if I'm wrong. But regardless, that's a lot of money going towards a feature, right? And he just kept pushing it back constantly, 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 just bullshitting him to, to be front. And at one point, he just went ghost, and that was that. And regardless, this dude kept supporting Netspin and kept listening to his music, because he has really good music, right? And he was expecting at some point Netspin would show some sympathy for, you know, the money he put into it, the work that it took to get that money and put it towards his music career, but it just never came. Netspin just didn't respond, and that was that. Again, highly suggest checking out Twisted World's video on it. He covered it perfectly, and I doubt nothing will come out of this. Like, Netspin will probably get away with it, even though it's a very scumbag thing to do, and it was crazy, because I, I honestly uh, respected him for a little bit. I thought he was actually going to be quite a big name in the industry. I talked about him on the channel before, but no, it turns out he is just going down the scamming route. Now, he is still young, he could still change, and I hope he does acknowledge what he did was pretty fucked up. Scamming people who support your music is just wild. But it's not as bad as Lil Mabu going out of his way to scam Tommy G. See, he straight up messaged Tommy G saying, hey, you can use my new song, Big Dog Shit, I believe it's called, as your new intro. But after Tommy G was like, hey, that's a good idea, dope, I'm gonna do that, and ended up using it, he got copyrighted. Mabu literally said that he would get it whitelisted so he can post the song legally on his channel. Now, it wasn't immediately that he got a copyright claim, it took about two days, then that finally happened, but then he went ghost, which all these scammers tend to do, and Tommy G would run the numbers, finding out that he lost over $11,000 to Lil Mabu's antics. And I, I get it might be mostly his management and not Mabu, but come on, man. Scamming, not just scamming accidentally, deliberately reaching out to a person. And then first couple days it's good, then the copyright claim goes up. Like, what? Was it intentional? I don't get it. I, it really doesn't make sense to me. Lil Mabu just never apologized, and the situation never fully got resolved. Similar to the Netspin uh, situation, I'm pretty sure the TJX6 situation. X6. Damn, I'm illiterate. And again, I doubt we'll get any closure, but since Tommy G is so big and he actually scammed a person with a good uh, name and audience, maybe there'll be a little bit of a consequence for Lil Mabu. But again, who knows? And Lil Mabu goes to a private school. I want to put that out there. Lil Mabu did not come from a rough situation, although he does rap about it. We talked about it before. Now, his music is good. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's bad, although I'm not as into it anymore. I think he was. I'm not going to lie. I feel like in a couple years, he's not going to be as relevant as he is now, and he's kind of just living it up in the moment. But hey, time could prove me wrong. Who knows? I know this video was just sort of random and short, but if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. More coming very, very soon. I just haven't been in the video making mood as a recent man, and I need to get back on the grind. I know. But thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay notorious. Peace out.